Ah, creo que no. Good job, Mitchell. Primary objective is complete. Scott, multiple hostiles are advancing on your position. We've got an APC on the way. Until then, you're gonna have to sit tight. Objective, hold your position. APC is on route.
Ah, creo que no. No. Bravo team, the ghost leader. We have linked up with the Bradley and are now moving to your extraction point. Coordinates on the APC, Scott. Proceed to the extraction point. Let's move it, people. Foster will lead the assault. Crisis Center, considering that the Rebels may have Guardrail 9 wired up, shall we now assume that no lines are secure? Well, we are still working to determine the extent of... I'm looking for a yes or no, Lieutenant! Yes or no! We still can't say, Bulldog. The consensus here is that the Rebels' acquisition of Guardrail 9 and the timing of this coup are related. In short, we must assume that they have full communications access. Ears on everything, understood? Affirmative. We'll just have to make this work. Okay, we know, and they know, that American diplomacy and all this Naja business just put 50 Abrams tanks on their doorstep, with three American military trainers. And we all know that these tanks are now under rebel control, and our trainers have been taken prisoner. General, sir, our intel says the tanks are, at present, not loaded. See that? It's already looking rosier. Okay, we will run a combined force op. Mitchell and his team will proceed to the North Sector to secure the release of our tank trainers. Mitchell, Captain Foster will secure the maintenance and storage sheds near the barracks to liberate tank munitions. Copy that, General. Just say the word. Once we've recovered a few tanks and put them into operation, the barracks compound should fall without much of a fight. So let's get on it, men. One more thing, General. Air Force One is still grounded. We need to move VIP One, repeat, quarterback to roll out of the pocket, ASAP. General Keating, we have massive hostile activity with ADA staged to move on runways one, two, and four. It's still too risky to put Air Force One in the air, so I suggest VIP One's immediate relocation to Captain Price's position. We're at the drop off, Captain. Hit him hard. Don't let him breathe. This is our stop, Captain. We will proceed on foot to rendezvous with the mule. I have visual on target. Bravo. 
Bravo here, Captain. Now linking with the mule. We'll target trainer's position with UAV. Mitchell, once Bravo locates the position of the tank trainers, we're gonna need you to secure their release ASAP. Ghost Leader, this is Bravo. The UAV has pinpointed the tank trainer's position. I'm downloading the coordinates to your HUD now, Captain. Receiving mission briefing, General. Objective is to secure the U.S. military tank trainer. Hey, Mitch. I'm totally psyched they got us together for this op. Get in there fast and get those tank jockeys, Captain. I feel mighty naked without trying to farm around me.
HQ, this is Black Hawk 4. Our tank pilots have been released. Repeat, we have the tank pilots under our control. Hey Mitchell, you got the players? My team is securing the party supplies. We're en route to the assembly area. Thanks, Captain. We'll have these tanks fired up in a jiffy. Bravo to Ghost Lee. Multiple hostile birds are inbound on your position. We're gonna dig in here and try to take them out as they pass. Yeah, Bravo here, Captain. We got one. Great. You secured those tanks. Foster will provide munitions and supplies. Foster, status. We secured munitions and are now in front of the staging area. Ghost leader, you have tactical control. Get those tanks to the rendezvous point. Scott, be advised. Intel has hostile troops near your position. We need every tank to make the staging area, so use your best judgment to get them there. Captain, Bravo is now en route to the tank staging area. We will neutralize any threats on the road leading in. We want to give the heavies a clear path. Roger. Green light, Captain. Moving to engage roadblock. We'll advise. Blackhawk 4 to Ghost Leader. You're gonna have to blow that roadblock with C4, Scott. Bravo to Ghost Lead. Rebels have set up a blocking position on the road. Nothing heavy. Do we have a green light to engage before we link up with Foster?
Inbound on your position. Captain Mitchell, this is Blackhawk 4. We're over your position and have a visual on some fixed guns. You could put them to work on those incoming helos, Scott.
Then I'm gonna need you to blow that bridge. Look alive, Mitchell. You have a roadblock just ahead. Bravo here. Man, we wasted. Uh, target destroyed, Cap. Now, if you'll excuse us, we got an APC to catch. We'll see you in the shed. Excellent work, Bravo. Damn fine soldiering. Frank lead to ground, give us a target. We are standing by. I'm here! Strike lead to ghost leader. Bob to two. General Martin, things are going to hell in a handbasket. We have now lost contact with a quarterback. Repeat, VIP-1 is off the grid. Do you copy? Roger that. Stand by. Captain Burke, I need a sit rep now! Burke! Burke, do you copy? I'm pretty much pinned down, General. I've lost Bennett, Sweeney, and Baxter. We have no room to move and negative confirmation on the quarterback passing through our position. These rebels must be on our line, General. It's the only way to explain how we're continually outflanked. Just hang on, son. We have men en route. Likewise. Now, Captain Mitchell, we're setting a rally point. I need you to move to this position. We're gonna hook up with an APC and advance you to Salvatore's sector. You will find me VIP-1. Is that understood, soldier? General Martin. We've run a few scenarios up here, and we now believe that Carlos Ontiveros and his Mexican paramilitary group called Aguila 7 are using our stolen guardrail 9 to disrupt our communications on the ground long enough to buy time and sympathy from the international community, perhaps in an attempt to sabotage NAJSA. In short, we do not believe that Ontiveros wants the president dead any more than we do. Roger that, but I won't believe it until we got VIP-1 standing on the West Lawn. Captain Salvatore, I need a sit rep. We've still got numerical superiority, but I don't know how long that'll last, sir. APC, give Salvatore your ETA. Captain Salvatore, I'm in route with Captain Mitchell to your position. Can you guide me in? You gotta drop off outside the area. Alleys are too tight and too hot. We got intense activity in this zone. Captain Mitchell, we have new intel on Colonel Obregon, one of General Ultiveros' key men. He just set up artillery assets outside the shanty. I need Bravo to move in and spot Obregon's position for friendly artillery, right now, or they could give us some real trouble. Bravo here. Copy that. Diverting to Obregon's position. We'll relay target coordinates. Copy that, Captain. I'm now on the scene. Mitchell to proceed by foot. Mm -hmm. 
Welcome to the hottest side of hell, Captain Mitchell. Prepare for heavy rebel activity. Okay, guys, your first objective is to reach Salvatore's position. Then you will proceed to secure the IP-1. We've got a Bradley to provide cover support. She's all yours, Scott.
Tories messed up bad, Captain, and his team. They're all wiped out. Dead, sir. Dead. And we do not have VIP-1. Repeat, VIP-1 is not at this position. This is General Martin. That's an affirmative on Salvatore's team. Their lights all just went red. We're now standing by for an update on VIP-120. You need to hold things together, son. I'm counting on you. General Martin. Your men on the ground should now have HUD feeds of VIP-1's last known position. It's a construction site near Mitchell's 20. Okay, Scott. Your objective is to reach the construction site and secure VIP-1. Bravo to Ghost Lee. We've been made, and we're taking heavy fire. We're gonna need some help if we're gonna reach those artillery positions. Captain Mitchell, we are running critically short of time. VIP-1's position remains unchanged. This is not good. We need to pick up the pace. Captain Mitchell, a UAV is now over VIP-1's location. It's a construction site near your 20. Heat signatures indicate that he's well guarded, so extreme caution is advised. VIP-1 must be retrieved unharmed. Shoot carefully, Scott. Look sharp, Captain. You are now at the President's position. Mitchell, we've made positive ID on VIP-1 at this position. You're closing in, Scott. Mitchell, I've got Charlie Team en route to support your position. Captain, Charlie Team is now in position and awaiting targets. Got him, Captain. You got the president. Captain Mitchell has secured VIP-1. Captain, you just couldn't wait for Bravo team, could you? Had to go all hot dog and rescue the president all by yourself. <laughs> Great job, man. We're still stuck here, facing multiple hostiles, trying to find an alternate route to your position. Captain, this is Charlie Lee. Well done, sir. You kicked ass. Excellent work, Captain. Okay, everyone, settle down. We need to arrange extraction. Black Hawk 4, status. Captain Mitchell, we have a Black Hawk inbound on your position to collect VIP-1. Stand by for evac.
General, this is Black Hawk 4. Package is now airborne. Repeat, VIP-1 is in the air. Essential. We need to recover Bowman's suitcase. Soon it. Bravo team, we're picking up the suitcase's signal on our HUD. Captain is coming from the oil refinery. We are now moving to its position. General Martin, we've established a one-way feed with Captain Bowen. The signal is not stable. Prepare to receive transmission. Not likely. As you wish. Hold him. Ghost Leader, this is Bravo. We just ID'd a rebel helo passing overhead. Fast and low. Captain, looks like it's headed toward the oil refinery. Half a click due north of our position. Scott, we have movement everywhere. They have birds in the air. Repeat, birds moving toward your position. Ghost Leader, this is Bravo. The suitcase must have been on the helo that passed over us. I think it landed at the oil refinery. We should be at that location in less than five minutes. That's your cue, Mitchell. You've got Bolin's position on your HUD. Move! I have a visual. Carlos has the suitcase. Repeat, Carlos has the suitcase and is getting into a helo. Mitchell, we need that suitcase. The football signal is now moving away from your position at tremendous speed. Status? We've lost the football, sir. It's in rebel hands. Mitchell, you will pursue. Am I understood? Bravo needs to go, We're set up on a roof across from the oil fire.
Mr. President, our troops have contained General Ontiveros in the center of the city. All civilians have been evacuated. On your orders, we are ready to move on his position. Put me on the line with President Ruiz Pena. We're going to need coordination on this. Mr. President, this is Lieutenant Barnes in the Crisis Center. We have a development that concerns... <sighs> Can it wait? I'm afraid not, sir. Our downed RC-12 recon plane in Nicaragua was carrying the Guardrail 9 system, a multifunction Black Ops communications... Yeah, I know what it is. I signed the budget request. You're saying the Rebels have it and know what to do with it? Worse. They have the suitcase too, sir. The suitcase only contains my idea launch codes. It can't put a bird in the air. Except their possession of both Guardrail 9 and your launch codes may have a connection, sir. Guardrail 9 is nothing more than an obscenely overpriced surveillance tool. It's more than that, sir. It's an extremely powerful espionage communications asset that could... That could do what? Well, for one thing, it could hack itself into a dedicated computer network, like NORAD, sir, especially if they had help on the inside. Whoa, 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 wait. Help on the inside? Now you're telling me they're being assisted by someone in our own government? How else could they know how Guardrail 9 works? We must consider all possibilities, sir. Then cancel the launch codes and lock them out of NORAD. What I'm trying to say is, they're already in the system, sir. The Russians and Chinese have detected activity at NORAD and have moved to a heightened security level. Given the current situation, you must go to DEFCON 2, Mr. President. Well, that's precisely what General Antiveros wants. I go to DEFCON 2 and increase global nuclear tensions. It's blamed on this coup, and there goes the North American Joint Security Agreement. Or we do nothing, get caught with our pants down, and it's over in 32 minutes. <sighs> He's right. We have no choice. Move to DEFCON 2. Captain Mitchell, find that suitcase. The suitcase's tracker signal is being jammed by the guardrail. We have its last position tag two clicks out from your position. You should have it on your HUD. Okay, Mitchell. You're on. Captain! We need Bravo Team and Brown to secure the airport for VIP-1's departure. So it looks like you'll need to proceed in that suitcase alone, soldier.